Okay, Randy, so today you're not just showing us how to make steak. You're showing us how to make it three different ways on three different outdoor cookers because that's just the kind of dude you are. Like, talk about an overachiever. So give us a little tour uh, and what you like and maybe dislike about each one. Oh, very true, Trey. So these are kind of like my children. I own all of these. We're going to start with the big green egg. This is a beauty. This is iconic in the barbecue world. It's basically a charcoal or wood smoker. You can get extremely hot with this thing. The beautiful thing is about it, the flavor that comes off the gr big green egg is like unmatched with any other barbecue. It will never break down because there's no moving parts. You basically just adjust the heat from the bottom and the top airflow. I bought this 14 years ago and it still works every single season. I'll probably have it 14 years from now. The next one we have is the Traeger. This is a beautiful wood smoking barbecue. Wood pellets, all natural, different flavors. But the beautiful thing about this is it's a set it and forget it. So there's a little dial here. You basically set your time and you press a button. Keep in mind, it's electric, so it works out on condo patios. It works basically anywhere. They have smaller models you can put in the back of your truck, fire it up, and then just set it and forget it. There's also some technology behind the Traeger that if you get the thermostat and you put it into your steak or your ribs or your chicken, it will actually tell you on your phone when your barbecue is done. So beautiful little apparatus here. We're gonna smoke some onions for a soup later and I've got my steaks on there for reverse smoke. I know it's on a little early, but I'm gonna teach about reverse smoke later. Here we have the Ferrari, the Napoleon, the best gas grill in the world. This has got everything you need from ample workspace, a searing side for your steak that gets up to 1900 degrees, believe it or not. It also has a smoking pouch here, so it smokes as well, and a massive workspace. So you can do veggies on one side, you can get hot over here, you can do like kind of indirect heat, it does it all. Now the cool thing about the Napoleon oh. is you can go either propane or natural gas. Do you have a preference? Absolutely, I always go with propane and the reason why hard, natural gas is fantastic because it's plugged in, you never run out. But what I would do is go propane, get two or three tanks so you never have to worry about running out. And that way you can kind of push it around your yard and see what's going on and get the best light possible. And if I have a catering or if a friend's having a barbecue and he needs an extra barbecue because he needs some extra space for a pig, I can put it in the back of the truck and away I go. So Randy's the house you go to to see the, the pig on the, on the spit turning around, like he does that kind of stuff. Go back down to the little, the green egg for a second because I cannot believe that you have had that for 14 years. Is there anything that bugs you a little bit about it? Obviously it's amazing, it lasts forever. Can it be finicky though? It is the hardest thing to deal with sometimes, especially when you're dealing with charcoal. I prefer <laughs> wood because I'm pretty good at starting wood fires, but it is, it's a pain in the butt. And you know, when you're in a hurry and you're trying to get that barbecue lit because you have people coming over, that's the day it's be like, I don't feel like lighting. I'm just not gonna smoke today. <laughs> so basically we're starting with the green egg and then we have the smoke, the Traeger, and then the heavy char because the heavy, heavy heat on Napoleon. So let's carve them open and take a look. Oh, let's do that. boy. That looks nice. Give that one a try. Mmm. What do you think? Smoke flavor up. Oh, the smoke flavor up that green egg is just intense. It's beautiful. And then the Traeger, nice. you can see it's nice and pink all the way through from that slow and low kind of smoke. <laughs> mm. <laughs> Beautiful smoke, nice bit of fat. <laughs> I've been waiting all morning to do this, Trace. It's amazing. <laughs> now the Napoleon, you ready? I know. We're going right into this, baby. Yeah, I'm ready. Look at this. It just sears the juices in because that 1800 degrees, heavy char, heavy salt. Oh. Oh, oh! Juicy juice. That is gorgeous. That one. Wow. Oh. Okay, so it's almost unfair because it's like oh. Randy pitted against Randy pitted against Randy. So I want to know: Is there one that jumps out as the best one? You know what? I think the same reason that we have three barbecues, they all have different flavor profiles. Heavy smoke in the green egg. A little bit lighter, but like with the Traeger and then the Napoleon just got that crust because the 1800 degrees. It really comes down to your beef and your salt and your pepper. And because all three are cooked perfectly, 
Look at this trace. And this is what summer is all about, isn't it? Just like kind of like grabbing some fresh protos, some morels, and then maybe a squeeze of lemon on top. Look at that, that is gorgeous. Oh my God, that looks amazing. Well done, chef. And of course, at home, if you are drooling like I am, cityline.tv for the recipe. You're gonna wanna grill uh, some steak up tonight. Thank you, Randy.